Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the AOKP ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. I do have a video showing you how to install this. I will link to that in the description of the video if you want to check that out. But anyways, here it is, uh, the AOKP ROM on your tablet. Uh, it's an ice cream sandwich based ROM. Let's go ahead and check that out first of all. Of course, you got your back home recent apps, running apps list, and down here you can still tap and brings up the settings menu. It is themed differently, obviously themed more of ice cream sandwich. Let's go into settings first. Uh, it brings up more toggles, notifications, but all settings. Let's go ahead and scroll down, go to about tablet. And as you can see, Android version 4.0.3 right there. Um, yeah, we are on the AOKP mod version, AOKP P4 Wi-Fi. Mine says P4 Wi-Fi, obviously, because I'm on a Wi-Fi only tablet. Quickly tap on Android version, get a little hidden Easter egg, press and hold on the screen, it'll get bigger, and you got some flying ice cream sandwich droids. <laughs> so a nice little hidden Easter egg, thanks to Google. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the ROM some more. Um, of course, down here you've got basically your, your brightness, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, rotate. Those are all customizable, which is nice. You got your um, notifications right here. You can actually swipe those away. So just swipe it on away and it'll go away, as you can see. You can turn off automatic brightness, I believe. Just tap that and then you can basically edit the brightness of the screen as you want to. So as you can see, much brighter now. Press and hold and you got options for wallpapers, live wallpapers. You have a unicorn wallpaper courtesy of the ROM, the OKP ROM obviously, as well as a phase beam wallpaper, which is probably my favorite. So I'm gonna set that. Um, so I'll let that load on up and I will have the phase beam wallpaper. So that's kind of nice. Other things that we want to check out is basically the settings that we have. Um, there's a lot of different settings, of course. So let's go ahead and just jump into those right away. So let's go back into the settings menu and inside the settings menu, you'll see it's integrated ROM control. It's integrated into the settings. You'll see uh, general UI settings. You can disable the boot animation. So if you don't like that unicorn boot animation, you are in luck because you can disable it. I know a lot of you guys might not like the pink unicorn boot animation. So you can disable that, just check it and you'll be good. Uh, you can allow 180 degree rotation. You can actually have a horizontal recent apps window. window. So if I go to recent apps down here, as you can see, you got Gmail browser, um, your recent apps list. Let's go ahead and try and make it horizontal. I don't know how that's gonna work with a tablet. Um, I know how it works on a phone, but uh, you'll see it looks like it makes it the screen bigger. So I'm sure most of you guys aren't gonna wanna do that. Um, so you can uncheck that. It's actually kind of cool on a phone. So, I mean, obviously this is a ROM compatible with tablet and a phone. So it's, it's tough to get all the modifications for one or the other. You can change the LCD density if you so choose. Um, other things that you can mess with. There's so many that I can't really go over all of them just because there's a crazy amount. You'll have to look into them yourself. Uh, navigation bar, um, I mean, I really don't think these will do much. Navigation bar is the bottom bar, such as in, on the Galaxy Nexus. Obviously, the tablet has to have them. So I don't think you can really mess with those. Lock screen options, you have style options, being stock, quad, or octo. With quad or octo, you can actually set custom uh, applications with the lock screen. So now when I go to my lock screen, I'll turn off the screen, turn it back on. When you press on this button, you'll see that there's more options. Don't go to camera, it will reboot your phone. Camera does not work. That is the only bug with this ROM, unfortunately. Still don't have camera since uh, I believe we don't have the source to the camera. So um, lock screen style, uh, of course you have other options. You have weather that you can have on the lock screen. Um, but down here is your lock screen targets, your custom apps. Let's say you want it to be phone. I don't know why you would be phone or SMS, or you can have it be a custom app. So if you want it to add a custom app, you can go to all your, all your applications. And let's say I wanted to open up the calculator. I can add that as well. So I, hopefully that worked. I don't know if it did or not, but let's go to this. And as you can see, obviously there's no, I don't think there's a phone application. So you got calculator unlock and camera still. So I can open up my calculator right away. So that's kind of nice that they have that, those custom options right there. Other things, power menu options, screenshot, torch toggle. I don't think the torch toggle works, so be careful with that as well. As I said, weather, you can enable the weather. I don't know if it works or not, but it might show weather down in the notification bar. It does on a phone with the pull down bar. 
Um, I'm not sure, I don't really see it. So I'm not gonna really mess with it. You can mess with it if you'd like to. General, nothing really there. Toggles, here's where you can actually customize your toggles. Just go to enabled toggles and you can enable certain toggles. Let's say you wanna enable Wi-Fi, vibrate, silent, uh, to uh, silent torch, actually don't enable torch because I don't think it's gonna work. Sync and swagger, so you have swagger down there too. So let's enable that, close it. And down here, you'll see all of them will pop up right down here, which is great. Uh, you'll see them, you can actually turn your swagger on. So I believe that is why they do that, if I can get it. So there you go, I turned my swagger on. Um, so I believe that's the only thing that that does. It's just kind of a, a funny thing that you can mess with. But you can turn all these on and off. As you can see, you can add many, many more toggles. Um, and you can customize the order as well. Just go to toggle order and you can customize that, which is great. So, I mean, it's really nice that you can customize all this stuff. You can change the style. I believe icon text only. Um, so you have that. You got clock options. You can change the clock style, color. Battery options, actually some pretty cool battery options. So you'll see the battery down here is basically the stock stock icon. Let's go to the icon style list. Um, you have a bunch of different styles. You have text only, so you can have a text only icon, which as you can see, mine says 94%. Icon with text, 94% within the battery bar right there, which is, which is pretty cool that uh, you can actually get both the, uh, the icon as well as the text. Same with centered text, so it'll just center the text as opposed to being in the bottom left. Circle mod, which is basically the battery icon with the uh, with a circle modification, as you can see, and hide. You can hide it. The reason you would want to hide your battery icon would be because you can have a battery bar, which is really cool. The status bar does not work, I don't believe, but put it at top of nav bar, and as you can see, a light blue bar popped up right here above the navigation bar and you'll see it ends right there. That's what your battery is at. So once at 50%, it's gonna go to the middle right here and it won't be colored right there. So it's actually a very cool modification having that. So you'll see it goes across the entire tablet here, uh, that bar, that blue bar. Um, you can change the color as well as the thickness of it as well. So I think that's actually really neat. I'm gonna keep that as my battery icon. You have performance options as well, which is very nice. Um, you have, uh, options to overclock actually. So go to max CPU and you can overclock up to 1.4 gigahertz, 1400 megahertz, or you can underclock if you want. So just be careful, make sure you know what you're doing before you do mess with that uh, with all these performance tweaks. So just be careful with all that. But yeah, I mean, that's really all the settings. Obviously many, many more, but I can't really go over all of them within one video. So it's actually very cool. Um, of course you have, let's go to the browser. Um, with, with recent apps list as well, you can swipe them away, close out of them or get rid of them. So as you can see, it brings up Google. I'm on my Wi-Fi, so obviously speeds are gonna be decently fast. Uh, open up a tab, I mean, nice desktop style tab browsing experience. Um, let's go ahead and go to acsyndicate.net. Should load right up, and it did, as you can see. So very nice, I mean, very fast, no lag whatsoever, pinch zooming. The browser's great, so definitely love the browser. Uh, runs very well. You can just hit home. You can go home. Of course, you got your resizable. Resizable would just, just drop it on down, I believe, in the same spot. Pick it up, drop it down. It'll bring up some dots around it. You can resize them if you would like to. And you can actually just tap outside or press the back arrow. And they're scrollable as well. So with this launcher, of course, that you have those those different options. So, I mean, overall, a really great ROM, many different options that you can mess with, many different settings, of course, which is which is really great. So definitely a ROM you're gonna wanna check out. Unfortunately, it does not have the camera at the moment. Hopefully that will come in the near future. I, I hope so, anyway. So um, hopefully that'll be there. But anyways, that's it. So be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.